It's been one year since a devastating fire took the lives of four children and their grandmother in Monroe County. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas spoke to the family of the victims for the first time since the fire and joins us live with more. Sydney. Sean, the lives of Carlos and Marky Rivera were forever changed when they lost their children and Marky's mother in a tragic fire last year. But they say their faith gives them the strength to go on. I spoke to the couple at the property in Polk Township. The home has since been demolished due to the damage sustained in the fire. Their children, two-year-old Casper, four-year-old Christian, five-year-old Caleb, seven-year-old Catherine, along with 53-year-old Rosemary Labar, who was watching them that night, were killed in the blaze that was ruled accidental by officials. Marky and Carlos tell me they continue to be in awe at how much the community has stepped in to help them during this painful time. A GoFundMe has since raised more than one hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the family. The couple says now one year later they've worked toward healing and use outlets such as speaking about their faith on a weekly podcast. And although they don't know what the future holds, they say they will take each step forward with God. The thing that gets us through is it is God. It is the fact that we know that even though something horrible happened here, we can use it to glorify God. I mean, that's that's what we taught our kids. We can use their story for good. You know, every single person that reaches out to us and says, hey, you know, how are you doing this? We can share that. The couple says if they could summarize this past year after the tragedy in one word, it would be blessed. And coming up later on Eyewitness News, hear what the family plans to do with the property to give back to its community. Sean. 